Watch me debunk this black Hebrew Israelite video in five verses. You know Christ didn't come for everyone. Christ didn't come for everybody? He did not come and die for everyone. Do you right? understand that? I don't understand how let's to go, Let's Christ. go back to some more words of Christ. Let's get more words. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Bring it out. It's the book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Easily giving context to his claim about it only coming to the house of Israel. When you take a look right here in scripture, it makes mention to the Jew first and then the Gentile. It was always meant to come to the Jew. Well, why that way? <laughs> oh, bro. Hey, no, for real though. No, for real. But why do they always be so bold, like thinking that they right? You realize that that Romans 1 and 16, when it's talking about the Jew and the Greek, the Jew is the southern kingdom of Israel and the Greek is the northern kingdom of Israel. It's not talking about everybody. So, I mean, what other scripture you got? Right? The Gentiles. If you don't believe me about it always coming to the Gentiles, look at the Old Testament right here, speaking of him being a light to the Gentiles. It was God's plan to go to all the earth. For God so loved the world that he sent his only son. Of course. Of course, bro. You said you can't, I can't stand that man. You know, you you know about this dude. He be on TikTok. He be on your TikTok, bro. And of course, they go hit John three. And he commands bro. all men everywhere to repent. If you desire to see that in action biblically, look no further than Cornelius in the Book of Acts. Peter was called to him, and by modern standards, he would be called a white man, a gentile. No, no, he wouldn't. That's the thing. He wasn't white. So yes, he wasn't a white man. Jesus is called to everybody. I just actually found out. I think uh, I was um, learning about who Cornelius like actually. Uh, yeah, he definitely, he definitely was bugging. But um, Cornelius, I think that, I think that through my research, I was finding out that he was, he might have been from Ephraim. You know what I mean? He might have actually been from Ephraim. So, oh, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see what this talking about. Here we go. The angels decided. Oh, hell no. You are. You, 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 one of them, bitch. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Bro, what y'all be sending me, bro? <laughs> what was that about? Raka, what you got going on? Caption is, hey, chat, 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 chat. Put a cap, caption this real quick. Caption this real quick. What y'all, what y'all think? <laughs> give me, give me, give me y'all fire this caption for this right here. Give me y'all fire this caption for this right here. Where they say the laws was done away with. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, I know you did it. <laughs> oh, bro. Bro. John. <laughs> 350. Hey, facts. <laughs> Hey, wait, hey, wait. because you didn't say Jesus is God. Exactly. 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 Uh. <laughs> when the Egyptologists come to you and say we all came from Billy Boy. <laughs> hey, oh, my goodness, bro. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> When the Bible say, I mean, when, when somebody say the Bible is a white man's book, <laughs> you can eat pork. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's okay to get tattooed. Exactly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jesus is white. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, 
we not under those laws no more. <laughs> you can say, hey, no, for real though. You can still smoke weed. <laughs> oh, uh, God made it. <laughs> when your boss say you have to work on the Sabbath. <laughs> Uh, you coming to the cookout this Saturday. Right, y'all funny, bro. <laughs> you, wait, hold on. Uh, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> we, we not under those laws no more. That's crazy. You follow, exactly. You follow no laws. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, grace. <laughs> But they just say grace, bro. <sighs> oh my goodness, bro. We under grace, bro. <laughs> oh man, y'all funny. Y'all funny. When, when a woman say I can still wear my pants. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, man. You know what we gotta do though? Come together and get unified. You know what we gotta do though? Come together and get unified and really have a structure, bro. It's, bro, a, it's a plan. Like... We got commandments. We got rules. We supposed to. We got all this. You dig what I'm saying? Cause we all the Hebrews. We all the real. Yeah, world. nah, for real. We don't, Cause we have. We don't have no. Doctrine. We have it. We just waking up. Yet. We just waking up doing what we want to do, thinking we can do what we want to do. We have that we can just do it. I would do it. Nope. That ain't then, how it goes. That's why all these tragedies keep happening country. until we actually yeah. do. That and sit down as a black people to say this is too far, and, and we all feel. Oh, you know, I hope y'all continue to have them conversations, bro. Right on the full screen. I I hope y'all continue to have them conversations, and I'm look. I'm not even gonna lie. I know a lot of people was indecisive about the whole celebrity Israelite situations and stuff like that. But I'm actually I'm I actually like the fact that DC Young Fly tends to mention that we the Israelites all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, the talk is she. The talk is she. I do agree. You know what I'm saying? But I am glad that he mentions it all the time because even though he's not living it completely, and I mean, I've seen him like amongst Israel, like amongst Israel for real. Uh, you know what I mean? But we got to realize that him with his platform and everything like that, he planting a seed, bro, for the people that are still in the world trying to figure out if this Israel thing is what it is. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, they probably was already high when they were doing it. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. They really... they. They need to learn. They need to learn how to keep the laws a hundred percent, a hundred percent. And that's honestly, that's that's uh, that's you know, what I mean, my prayer for them, just like the scripture say, my prayer is that y'all repent and start keeping the laws. But at the time, the time that they in right now, especially we all know how hard it is for rich men, you know, what I mean, to give up his riches and stuff like that. But I mean, if you're going to be a service to Israel and allow us to wake up more of the sheep, hey, you know what I mean? Do your job. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like I said, and, and I hope, I hope you know what I mean, our people repent from for it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, even, I would rather him be bringing light to Israel like through saying who we are and what we should be doing and not doing it rather than to be not doing it at all. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, te if you teaching that, at least that's sparking somebody's mind to think about it. But if you ain't even mentioning it at all, and you know that we Israel and all of that stuff, 
then it's like you double wrong. Oh yeah, it's definitely a hundred percent dangerous in this world. You know what I mean? Exactly. What the scripture tell people? It's okay. Now that's true though. Like I've I've taught like I got some you know brothers and stuff like that 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 struggle with that battle as well, bro. And you know what I mean. But am I am am I going to tell them that they can't edify another brother because they haven't repented? You know what I mean from from a sin that they that they might be struggling with. You know, it's some sins that we have that we be struggling with all the time. Do that mean that we can't tell our people that they need to repent and come back? You know? So, you also got to keep that in mind, too. All right, Chad. Let's see. I can't. All right. PVO, building the Tower of Babel. I can't. I can't. A part tip redact. What? A part tip redact scavern. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rather than scavern. Kashmirga. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Yeah, that's stupid. Uh it's pretty much saying like they was uh it's pretty much saying it like you know how Tim the Tower of Babel, they confounded the languages. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you see me? I can't. A part tip redact. What? A part tip redact. Scavern. What are you talking about? Rather than Scavern. Kashmirga. <laughs> it's funny because it's, yeah, exactly, because it's true. <laughs> Confound their language, they didn't know what to do. Your phone when you uh, say you want to buy something. This is 100% true. Sometimes, sometimes I don't even say it. I just think it. And then, bro, that's accurate. 100% accurate. 100% this is what blows accurate. my mind. Have, you, have, have that ever happened to y'all, bro? Where y'all was thinking something in y'all head? Y'all thinking something in y'all head? And then, uh, like, the, an ad popped up for it? Bro, that, like, what they be doing, bro? They be scanning our fingers or something up on the phones or something. Like that. Like how they be? How they be finding out what's our, what's in our thoughts, bro? I don't like that. I don't like that, bro. People show substance abuse. Everybody be trying to escape this world. Facts. All right. This is what blows my mind. There's this gorilla. They train to understand English. He had a final message to the world. Oh, it's mad deep, bro. Listen. So pretty much he says, I am flowers. I am nature. Coco love man. Earth. Coco love. But man. Stupid. stupid. And look, he's crying. You can see. The gorilla's crying. See, stupid again. He says, oh, stupid. Sorry. Coco, sorry. Coco, cry. Damn, what happened? Time, hurry. Fix, earth. Oh, Help, mm. earth. Oh, that's crazy. And he says, hurry, protect earth. Nah. So this is before he was going to die. Yeah. So he knew his time was ending and he knew he was going to die. That was his final message because he's mm. able to communicate with humans. Mm -hmm. Other animals, they can't. So imagine what crazy things and. That's kind of crazy, bro. That's crazy though. You know what this you know what this kind of reminds me of though? Like with this whole monkey and stuff. Uh gorilla. Um what it reminds me of is when it talks about like um how the earth was gonna be at peace, you know what I mean, when Israel is a rulership. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. 
Yeah, that's crazy though. Cause like if you think about it, when Israel is in rulership again, the whole earth was gonna be back on course. You know what I'm saying? All the animals are gonna be happy. You know what I mean? Like we're gonna see joy in the world again. And just seeing like monkey out here giving a giving a message to the world, like help us. You know, hurry, time is running out. Like that's crazy. That's crazy. What y'all think about that, Chad? I hate when people are like, Jesus wasn't white or black. He was Middle Eastern, like brown, curly hair, you know, in between. Kinda like this made up guy. On multiple occasions in the Bible, it describes Jesus as a dark skinned man with an afro. Here are the scriptures to prove it. Everyone wants Jesus not to be a dark skinned black man. Anything but a thug. Get out this mentality and preach the truth if you really believe in the Bible. Repent, understand your history. It's okay. Facts. Facts. And look, Chad, they, they always I hate do when people are like Jesus wasn't they, white or they always be trying to they always be trying to say he looked like this man, bro. Chad, don't lie, bro. They always be trying to say this is who he looks like if he not the white man. And this could be the furthest thing from the truth. That's what you know what I mean. It's it's real so like that. When they say that he's olive complexion, this is exactly what they mean. Yeah, Christ can be any color you want him to be. It's insane. The, the one lady, I'm telling you, Chad, watch that video. Yeah, one lady called Christ a chameleon, bro. He asked her specifically. He said, so is Christ a chameleon? She said, yeah. What's wrong with these people, bro? People be straight bugging. Bishop went to the scripture, the Holy Ghost woman. What is the Holy Ghost? What is the Holy Ghost? Bishop went to the scripture, the Holy Ghost will make, uh, will bring all things to your remembrance. Mm -hmm. Right? Watch this. Luke chapter 1, verse 67. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost. So, so oh. the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Filled with the Holy Ghost. And did what? And prophesied. Uh huh. What did he say? Saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Ain't none of y'all in that Pentecostal church saying that. Mm -hmm. mm. They knew that. The God of Israel, that's the one true God. He didn't say the God of everybody. The Holy Spirit caused Zacharias to say the God of Israel. Pentecostal church teaches all nations, everybody. We mm -hmm. every, we all God's children. Mm -hmm. But the Holy Ghost just made him say something different here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Carmelo. So the Holy Ghost is understandable, audible words that you can... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not yeah. talking Dang. gibberish right here with the Holy Ghost. It's clear to understand. It's clear to understand. He said, blessed be the Lord God of <laughs> Israel. <laughs> he didn't say that. I didn't, I didn't read that right there. Right. I didn't read that. Someone, I'm going to ding down. That's right. crazy. Look at Judges 3 real quick. Watch this. <laughs> Judges 3. No, for real, bro. No, that's crazy, honestly. Because I, I never thought about that. Oh. Like, it's a lot of people that was like, Filled with the Holy Ghost, and then spoke after they was filled with the Holy Ghost, and they never did like this the whole uh, speaking in tongues, you know what I'm saying, uh, type stuff. And Christianity try to say is what happens when you catch the Holy Ghost. That's crazy, and <laughs> but that's, that's actually crazy, honestly. You know, I didn't even think about that. I never thought about that. I never thought about that. I put the clothes in the suitcase and zip it. Right. Mm. I put the jelly uh -huh. in the jar and I twist it. Oh! I take the ball. Uh -huh. I bounce it. Uh -huh. I shoot. I miss it. Oh! Oh, he missed it. Crazy. Come on. I switched it. Oh! <laughs> that was actually that was actually kind of funny. Mm. Yeah, for real. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's psych. I switched it. <laughs> no, that's that's actually kind of funny. I ain't gonna lie, that look, that almost got me a little bit. I'm like, 
shoot I missed it. I like it. You know what I'm saying? But he, yeah, he flipped it though. He flipped it though. He flipped it though. He flipped it though. Hey, that was a bar. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, yo, my dude, Gideon. Bible stories in under one minute, Gideon. Hey, yo, my dude, Gideon. What's going on, son? Hey, yo, I need you to uh, step in my office real quick and come holler at me. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, God? Nothing much, you know, just getting ready to pull up on these media nights because you know when we show up, we're going to bob out, you know, for you. You feel me like you said? Oh, yes, sir, for sure. Y'all definitely going to get the W if you just follow my strict instructions, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, your army is looking real deep right now. You know, y'all rolling up with that 22,000, and I'm going to need you to cut it down. Right. Like, a lot, drastically. Okay, cut it down to what? So after you get the scary ones out, and after you get the ones that can't drink water right out, you're going to be looking at about... 300, which I think is smooth. 22,000 to 300, that's smooth. It's a good number. God, you want us to pull up on the Midianites with only 300 people? Number one, you know I gotta get my glory. And then number two, <laughs> I have to show you and future generations that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. And I can do some crazy things with some little numbers, okay? I can make something shake with 300, okay? Hey, 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 that's facts though. He said, uh, they're talking about the lapping and stuff like that when they went to go lap for the water. It's like, nah, bro. You gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. Uh, you did the right thing. You scoop with your hand. Get over there. You, you on your hands and knees. Get out of here. You not coming with us. You come on with me. You come with me. You get out of <laughs> That's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? They was packing them boys up. Packing the boys up, chat. They was packing the boys up. All right, chat. Why her glasses so big? How to look sanctified during church? Pretend something stinks. Shake your head, no. Shake your head, yes. Lift your hands real fast. Bring them down slow with an angry face. Pretend someone electrocuted you. <laughs> Lean forward. <laughs> Lean back. Lean forth, look back, look forth, lean back, hug yourself, shoot an arrow. Now think about it. Give the Lord a high five. Oh, bro. Oh, my goodness. This is Christianity in a nutshell. Christianity in a nutshell. Oh, my God. Bro, why is this so accurate, bro? Why is this so accurate? It's Christianity. Let me talk to you, bro. If this is y'all way, if if this is y'all way to keep to catch the Holy Ghost, if this is y'all keep catch the Holy Ghost tutorial, my boy, my girl, if this is what it is, chat, bro, y'all need to get up out of here, man, for real. Y'all need to go somewhere for real. They said shoot an arrow, and they did the little thing, and bro, it looked so much like real life. Like, I feel like every Christian that does all the shouting and stuff watched this video and literally learned from her. Now, that's crazy. How Look at this, bro. During church. Pretend something stinks. Shake your head. I always up. got the stink face. Shake your head, yes. Lift your hands real fast. Bring them down slow with an angry face. Pretend someone electrocuted you. <laughs> Lean forward. <laughs> Lean back. Pretend somebody electrocuted you is crazy. Pretend somebody electrocuted you is crazy, Chad. Lean forth. Look back. Look forth. Lean back. Hug yourself. Shoot an arrow. Now think about it. <laughs> Hug yourself and then shoot an arrow, bro. And then think about it. I'm crying, bro. It's so dumb. It's Give so the Lord dumb. a high five.
This is yeah, nah, that's for real though. This is definitely Christianity. I fuck. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> Bro, this, every single time, chat, every single time, every single time, bro, I see Dr. Umar on one of these memes, bro. They never miss. They never miss, bro. They're always funny. They're always funny, bro. They're always funny, bro. Never miss, bro. Why? I see one, <laughs> bro, I seen one earlier, oh my goodness, and they said, um, it was a, it was a white girl and she had a black man, she said, um, it said, it said something about like, bro, bro, it said something about like, um, my happiness starts no my happiness y'all happiness starts something and then she said my happiness starts with an end i guess that was his name but she, it was just an end on top of his head and then it had the dr uvar with the same picture bro and i was dying laughing my boy said my brother <laughs> bro that man that's the funny bro that's never funny.